when we do this, you know, when we sing a song, when we go to another person, another another chief, who she will always explain where a song comes from, how we got it, who it belongs to. For a lot of our people, we know it is Anama, and also they call it the shawl dance. Uh, when I first started, they used to use this song for dinner song around here. Uh, and then it was always a shawl dance. <clears throat> then we got dinner song going, so we pushed it and all ladies do shawl dance with this song. And this song, Anama, it, uh, it comes from the Haida Gwai, the Haida people. Through, they say, they used to tell me years ago when the big schooner ships were around, in the 1800s, I guess, when the big schooner ships were around, they I got into fur trading back then. And uh, our people were very attic at going out and hunting on the ocean, you know, Kishanush, you know, uh, fur seal, we call them Kishanush in our language. But our people would go out, way out shore and hunt these. And these schooner people, the Europeans that came, they were into fur trading and they hired our people because we were so sick at doing that. And when they jumped on these schooner ships, they went far, you know, because they were off, offshore, way far, you know, 100 miles or whatever, wherever they had to find them. And they went way up the coast, so, you know, they end up in Haida Gwaii, our people on board that boat, that schooner boat. You know, go ashore when it's whatever, right? And our people are always musical people. You go up wherever, wherever in this North America. So we get to sing and every time we sit with each other. So we probably sang with our people up there and shared songs. So we probably have a song up there too, up in Haida Gwaii because we exchanged, and this is the one that we brought back from Haida Gwaii. To Anama. Anama, he claims to Kowicha Yotsla, Nimitz claims to Kowicha Yotsla, Ski Kama Thank you.
the one we all share, all feet to throat. We all share. Encourage our young fellows to pick it up so they can sing for all the ladies, our feet to throat ladies. True. On them all, angels. You know, it's in them, right? It's in them. But like we're saying, as singers, it took us a long time, right? That's why you see us try to get them when they're this small, to put it in them. So as they grow up, it's in them, it's in them. And we try to draw it out more and more and more, try to get that. Not everybody has to be able to get up and sing for four or 500 people. You know, it's, it's these young guys, we started them. Mind you, we haven't been out for a couple of years. But they're coming, you know. But it takes time. And it takes us, you know, to encourage them. And not, we can't force them. We can't say, get over here and sing this right now. It'll never happen. You know, we encourage them. You know, come on, we, we, we heard you. You're awesome. That's the way we do it. You know, we don't. But it takes time. Eh? There's a couple, you know, there's some that picking up on it. They know. There's people that know that they know, so it's up to them to encourage them. But I'll tell you, when we were learning, when we were learning, it was hard for us to do anything unless we had our leader there too. Our leaders, like Grandpa Lawrence, old man. You know, we couldn't do anything else. Let's go check, make sure it's okay with us. You know, that's where these young people will do it now. You know, if we're not there, they may feel uncomfortable, right? That's why they need people to encourage them. Oh, no. You did it so well, you know, before. So they used to tell me, if you're going out fishing by yourself, sing on the top of your lungs. Nobody's there to laugh at you when you mess up, you know? So that's the way we used to do it, whether out there or whatever. And, you know, when we're, when we do it at home here, and these practices, that's where we're allowed to, you know, if we goof up, we keep going, and yeah, we don't. <laughs> Our teachers that were before us, you know, I'm, I'm in my mid-50s, and I consider myself very young now, because the teachers I had, they were in their 80s, 80 plus, 80 years old, these people that taught us how. And uh, they seen it, you know, what, what we were doing, when they, they poured it all, what they had left in, what they had into it. I'm hoping they did it. But every time we lose one, we lose a lot of our, you know, culture. So I'm hoping our young ones, you hear this, you know, your our parents, your grandparents, encourage our young ones, oh, keep a hold of it. Uh, it's not much left. You know, whatever we have left, we gotta cherish, cherish, very cherish. All, all respect, eh? all, all respect amongst our people when it comes to song. It's been written that way since, oh my gosh, thousands of years. We've never broken those rules with each other. I respect theirs, family songs, theirs. I'll do it for them. The only sing somebody song, if, if the owners ask you to sing it for them, right? Like, ah, nah, ma. I'm not the only one that has to sing it, if we can encourage the young ones, you know, they can sing for all of us too, right? Uh, family songs, yeah, it's, before we started, they used to say, you know, families were so big that they already had leaders in their family. They'd have lead singers for their family songs. They'd have a leader for our family song, a leader for their family songs. It's not, some tribes are still like that, but here it's, you know, we're a little behind right now, I'm getting there. Uh, 
and it's only through respect. You know, we don't have to have it written on contract. We know we're going to find you if you sing my song. Eh? All natives will know, hey, you're singing that, that somebody else's song. And, and the shame of it is good enough to your, you know. <laughs> so everybody, nobody's going to hurt you. We all learn everybody else's song, but we respect not to do it unless we're asked. Unless we're asked, and we don't force it on, you know, somebody. Hey, I want to come sing your song for you right now. We just, you know, somebody comes to you. Can you sing my song for me? No problem. You know, when we we, we can. So they can find somebody that has the to stand up and sing it for them. You know, there's some people out there, other lead singers that know, like Wishki. You know, he's got blood here, but his blood is Ohio. But he knows us too, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, he'll do it if we ask, right? If, if we're not available, it's, he's there. If somebody asks him, he'll do it. Because mm -hmm. they all know the rules too. All of us know the rules. Mm -hmm. All tribes. We're, we're not all singers, you know? We're not all all dancers, you know, we're not, I, I, we have speakers, I can't do his job, you know, right? we have these certain abilities in us, you know, a speaker, he can get up and speak, you know, for a thousand people, I go try it, I know I'm, you know, red, turning around, but song, I can get up for a thousand people and sing it, right? it's, it's a job we have. It's not a job that's applied for, it just comes out in us. We all have it, it just comes out in us when we, all through our life, right? Come on up, you know, come sing with us. They, they will, they will, they, you know. It's in them, you know, there's a lot of people that know this song, but to come up and, you know, they do when it's time. Yeah, you know, like if, if our people go to a party, go to other people's party, like we used to say to us, you know, uh, if you're invited to a party, don't just go there and eat their food, right? Don't just go there and eat, get up and sing for them. So we're not here to sing other, our dinner songs. The people can use this for a dinner song. Oh, no, no. They can really still use it for a dinner song. Hang in there, this will get by us. Uh, we'll gather again. Yes, you know, shake up the rest. <laughs> Hang in there. Do.